Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, quick video on a fragrance that I scored on uh, Marshalls. So Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Ross, those uh, stores, they have like a section where you could buy fragrances. And sometimes they have a bunch of clones and stuff like that. But as of recent, I've noticed that they're putting those fragrances inside like a little display that is locked. And you actually have to get somebody to open it up and get the fragrance for you. Um, one thing that I found is that some of designer fragrances are in there and uh, if you're looking around you might find some male fragrances on the female section uh, but this one kind of caught my attention because I saw that it started with a two and I'm like there's no way that this fragrance is around 20 bucks so below $30 I thought it was a good chance to just try it and see how it worked and I'm not disappointed with the performance of this fragrance and here's the box and by the description or the thumbnail you already know what it is this is john vervedo's xx artisan so one of my worries about this uh, fragrance was that it's going to it was going to be a fake or that uh they were selling uh, fake fragrances on Mar in marshalls you never know sometimes they sell something that might be um, expired. I don't know. The fragrances sometimes have like an expiration that says 36 months down here. Anyways, I was kind of worried that it was not going to perform well. And uh, here is the uh, tag. And as you can see, I already opened it up, but it says $29 right there. Um, so here is the, the bottle itself. And it's a really good looking bottle. Um, one thing that I have to say is that it is aesthetic, so you could put it somewhere and it's gonna look good uh, regardless of what you have around it. So you're gonna put it somewhere around here, it's gonna look good anywhere. I wonder if whoever made this bottle is, uh, you know, like they make it by hand because it's, it's a wicked bottle. So I'm gonna try to answer three questions about this fragrances or fragrance or fragrances that you buy at Marshalls overall. Are they good? Is it worth the price? Okay. And would, would I buy it again? Uh, well, let's go over first off, if, is it good? The quality. So when you buy things at Marshalls, you you either expect them to be cheap or you expect something bad to, you know, have happened with them. Uh, with that, I'll say that this bottle, um, it does kind of like the cap push down on the actual top right here on the spray. So right now, I don't know if it comes out in, uh, good in the video, but around the top of the fragrance, it's all wet. And that is because when you push down on this top, you have to push down on it like that. Because if you go at an angle, you will spray the bottle itself. So it's kind of weird why how it does that, but it is what it is. So for 30 bucks, I think that's something that you might kind of look over like, and not worry about too much about it. Now, how, how does it smell? So first let's go over the notes or the main accords. So this fragrance, according to Fragantica, right, is citrus, fresh, spicy, aromatic, woody, earthy, herbal, musky, and powdery. Uh, you could get this around Yoma shop for around $27 to 35. And other places you could probably get it for $41. It all depends on where you get it but around that range. So bitter orange and bergamot. So that it is true when you are when you spray this, you will smell that bitter orange and that bergamot. Uh, when it dries down, it's when this thing I think excels because it smells really powdery and it smells really good. It smells woody and powdery, which is something that I like. Um, so why make a big deal out of buying this at Marshall? Because I paid 30 bucks. Um, I found, when I was buying, when I was looking at it at Marshall, I looked it up on Amazon, and it was 102. And then I looked at it and uh, looked for it on Joma, Joma Shop, and it was around 32 dollars or something like that. I might be wrong, but it was within the range. And I was like, you know, if you buy it at Joma Shop, you're gonna have to pay shipping plus taxes, so it will eventually come down to like 40 something dollars. Whereas if I buy it here, it's already here, so and it'll make a good video. So. How does it smell? It smells way, way good. It smells really, it smells, it reminds me of 
kind of like Shiyaka um, and Loam, um, Prada Loam mixed together. Because there's a lot of floral and there's a lot of uh, powder in there and woody. It smells really good. I think you could use this at any time during day, night. It doesn't really matter. Summer, winter. More of a summer fragrance, if you ask me. So it's worth the $30, absolutely. So if you spot this at Marshall's uh, and you really want to try a John Vervedo's fragrance, um, I suggest that you try to pick this one up for the price. Um, and would I buy it again? Yes, I would buy it again. Um, just because I think, I, I've never tried this fragrance and it was more of a blind buy when I got it. But I think it is, it is worth the price. So if you've been looking for a John Vervedo's fragrance to start, um, then I think this one should be it. Uh, this one is uh, really nice, uh, smells really good, and I don't think anybody's gonna not like the scent of this fragrance. So enough about that, let's go over performance because I've already tried this. So it smells really good uh, when you first spray it and when it dries down. It doesn't leave a scent trail, according to my wife. She says that other fragrances that I've tried, like she, while she's sitting next to me in the car, she could scent, smell them. With this one, it's more closer fragrance. But something that she did say or note is that it smells good. So, I mean, if you're using this for your wife or using this to be around your wife or a girlfriend and you're not trying to call or get too much attention, that thing is good because it's, it's still good performance close enough right when you're somebody's close to you so i think that's good um and i think it's, it's overall it's great so the it doesn't leave a scent trail like some people might want it to but i think it just performs well um it doesn't fill a room up for sure but it does stay on your clothes for a while what i say what i mean by that is i i sprayed it on my shirt and i threw my shirt in the hamper and when you when I picked it up the next day, it, you could still smell it. So, you know, would it will would it last a whole day on you on your shirt? Yes. But other than that, I think it's great. Would I suggest somebody to blind buy this? Yes. This is a safe blind buy. So, if you have any other questions, comments, concerns, please leave a comment down below. Leave a like if you like the video, and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.